Here's a highly advanced moray kit that an American artisans made several years ago. It's got many, many parts to it. And in here is a, a, a very long document containing full description of what's going on. Um, here's the first of several chapters, and this one includes, uh, they look like letter Fs, but they expand and diminish as you turn the top screen. And across here we've got ones and twos, no, ones and zeros, that's right, zeros and ones, and they expand and diminish as you, and they move also in the opposite way to which you expect. The F ones here, there's a series of letter Fs there, and they'll get bigger and smaller as you rotate the top screen. And as I move left and right, they move up and down, which is one of the bizarre things of the Moray patterns. So that's just the first of several chapters he's produced, and they all come on the screen like that. Now, here's another chapter. Either three or four of the acetate pieces are included in each one. This one produces a series of white dots on black background. As you turn it, the white dots get bigger and bigger and get distorted. They're, they're quite round, and there they become quite elongated. Again, that strange movement to go up and down in the wrong way as you turn it. This one here contains clearer dots, black dots on a white background, which, which is easier to see. Again, diminishing and expanding. This one here will do another one with black dots on a white background. Wow, that's a big effect. Very regular pattern, very beautifully done. And then another chapter contains stars, this one is. In each case, there's a basic image you're looking at. This is open stars and closed stars. And this one is what actually magnifies them and makes them visible. So these are closed stars. And these ones here are open stars. And if I put one across there, you'll see both stars moving together. You've got big stars and little stars. No, nope. we go like that. That's right. And there you go. This strange right-angle direction to the direction of motion that you're doing with the with the with the, with the screens. Another very remarkable one. This one here contains something very very obvious and visible, but. When you place that there, you see nothing at all. When you place that like that, but as soon as you turn this round so it lines up, suddenly you realise you're looking at suits of a deck of cards, clubs, diamonds, hearts and spades. And as you move the screen, they go in different directions, which is very strange indeed. And as you slew it sideways, you get this wonderful distortion both ways, which is, I think, stunning. Well, this one here contains diamonds once again, but this time it's behind a grid. And this reversal, which is so hard to explain, why the diamonds go one direction and the grid goes another direction. And the slew sideways left and right and they'll distort nicely. And he included one set of acetates where you just had a large screen and on top of it, this way around, you have a grid. And when you move this, you get this wonderful three-dimensional, as if you're looking at some four-dimensional space and time. The way it warps like that and produces valleys and mountains is quite weird and magnification and wonderful distortions. So this is a very, very advanced Moray kit with many, many experiments that could be performed with the pieces. There's, I've only shown a, really a small section of what's, what's, what he's produced. And you can also, from his CD, reproduce all these in high definition. So this is a a more a kit to die for.